when the angel came. <clears throat> when the angel came and announced to her, from the Spirit you'll conceive in humility and with trust of God. Mary answered, I believe, with our heart's devotion true, him and prayers we offer you, temple for his birth, fairest flower of earth, worthy of all praises due to Judea's hills and Elizabeth Mary went to fill God's plan humbly she proclaimed <clears throat> how her soul rejoiced at the mercy for all men. With our heart's devotion true, hymns and prayers we offer you. Temple for his birth, fairest flower of earth, worthy of all praises due. <laughs> With our hearts we devotion true, hymns and prayers we offer you, temple for his birth, fairest flower of earth, worthy of all praises due. <coughs> Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace of on high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the civility of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church, for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable Presbyterian, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For every government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For a favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, and mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O <laughs> Lord. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is to all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing the praises to your name, O Most High 
through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. Robed is the Lord and girth about with strength. Through the prayers of your saints, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, who being immortal, deigned for our salvation to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, and became and without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Wisdom the attentive. Day after day announce the good news of our God's salvation. Today is the summit of our salvation, and what was hidden from before all ages is revealed. The Son of God becomes a virgin son, and Gabriel announces the good news of grace. Therefore, let us exclaim to him, with him the Theotokos. Rejoice, O oh, oh, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. O Theotokos, valiant defender, your servants offer you hymns of victory in thanksgiving, for you have delivered us. But since you have invincible power, free us from pearl, that we may exclaim to you, Rejoice, O unwedded bride. You are holy, our God. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy and immortal.
around us. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit now and, and ever and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive, peace be to all, Wisdom be attentive. Day after day announce the good news of our God's salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Day after day announce the good news of our God's salvation. Wisdom. A reading from the epistle of St. Paul the Apostles to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, he who consecrates and those who are consecrated have one and the same Father. Therefore he is not ashamed to call them brothers saying, I will announce your name to my brothers. I will sing your praise in the midst of assembly. And he says, I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I and the children God has given me. Now, since the children are men of blood and flesh, Jesus <laughs> likewise had a full share in ours, that by his death he might rob the devil, the prince of death, of his power and free those who through fear of death have been slaves their whole life long. Surely he did not come to help angels, but rather the children of Abraham. Therefore he had to become like his brothers in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God on their behalf to expiate the sins of the people since he was himself tested through what he <coughs> suffered, he is able to help those who are tempted. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. Alleluia. Alleluia. descend like rain on the meadows, like raindrops on the earth. Alleluia. <clears throat> Alleluia. Alleluia. May his name be blessed forever, more enduring than the sun. Alleluia, <coughs> Alleluia, Alleluia. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. <clears throat> Let us be attentive. At that time, Zechariah's wife, Elizabeth, conceived a child. She went into seclusion for five months, saying, In these days the Lord is acting on my behalf. 
He has seen fit to remove my reproach among men. Now in the sixth month, the archangel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the family of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Upon arriving in the house, the archangel said to her, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Mary was deeply troubled by his words and wondered what his greeting meant. The angel went on to tell her, Don't be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. You shall conceive a son and give him the name Jesus. Great will be his dignity, <clears throat> and he will be called Son of the Most High God. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over many, over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will be without end. Mary told the angel, how can this happen, since I do not know man? The angel told her, <clears throat> the Holy Spirit will come upon you, the power of the Most High will overshadow you. The Holy Child to be born will be called the Son of God. Realize now that your cousin Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age. She who was thought to be barren and sterile is now in her sixth month because nothing is impossible with God. <clears throat> Mary said to the angel, Behold, I am a servant of the Lord. Let it happen to me as you say. And after that, the angel left her house. Glory <laughs> to you, O Lord. Glory to you. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our gospel story brings us you might say, to a way of praying. It comes at the end of a brief, brief conversation in which the <clears throat> Archangel Gabriel explains the reason for his visit. Tradition tells us Mary was at prayer when the angel came to her, telling Mary of the mission for which God has chosen her. The conversation closes with Mary saying those wonderful, dramatic words. I am the servant, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it happen to me as you tell me. That is a hard prayer for any person to pray. It involves your total commitment. It's the submission of yourself to the mission of God. And Mary prayed that prayer with such grace and poise, she seemed to make it easy, but make no mistake, it was not. It never is. When Jesus prayed his prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane, he said a similar thing. He said, not my will be done, but yours, my heavenly Father. And so intense was the struggle in that prayer that his sweat became like drops of blood. In the prayer of self-submission, the different fact in such a way is how to manage your life. How it aligns with your prayer life. Could we really say, I call upon God as a servant to let anything happen to me as he wishes? It's a very scary thing to do. What this means is that you are giving God a blank check on your life. You sign it at the bottom, and he is free to fill it in for whatever amount he wishes. This is not easy to do, never has been, never will be. And yet how desperately we need to learn to pray that prayer. 
for within it lies the true test of your faith in God. Oh, it's one thing to trust him for our daily bread. It's another to intercede with him on behalf of our friends. Both of these things are good and essential and wonderful, but the real test comes to the point of your trusting him with your very self, of laying your life on the line for him to do as he wishes. I remember a story about an acrobat who amazed his audience by walking the line, the high wire, without the security of a safety net. On one occasion, he stretched a wire across the deep gorge as a crowd pressed close and looked up and looked on, walking, waiting to see him walk. The people applauded, and he did it. Now, he said, I will push this wheelbarrow <clears throat> across. Again, the people applauded. They thought, this is totally impossible. Then he turned to a man nearby and said, do you really believe I can do this? And the man said, oh, yes, I believe you can do this. I'm certain you can do this. Then the acrobat said, then get in the wheelbarrow and go along with me. Of course, the man declined. I don't blame him. You, would, you wouldn't blame him. But the story makes a valid point. The ultimate test of your faith is laying your life on the line. It would be foolish to, enter, to do that to entertain a crowd. But in the business of God, it is the one true demonstration of your trust. Mary said, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it happen to me as you say. She laid her life on the line. Are we willing to do that? Can we pray that prayer along with her? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. <clears throat> let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan, William, for our God-loving Bishop Kirk, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, our spiritual fathers, and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government, for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your grace and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are merciful, loving God. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy to the life creating trinity now set us
here. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend metropolitan, William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, the entire priestly, diaconal, and monastic order, our civil authorities, and all in the service of our country, and the ever-memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. <laughs> that we may receive, receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by an angelic host. With the precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Grant us through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand in right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy anaphora in peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with all of you and with your spirit let us lift up our hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord it is proper and just it is proper and just to sing to you to bless you to praise you to thank you to worship you in every place of your dominion, 
We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six winged, many eyed, sowing aloft in their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. O Sana, in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana, in the highest. We also cry out with these blessed powers, O loving and kind Master, and say, Holy are you, and all holy you, and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan on our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving command, all that has come to pass on our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection of the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, the second coming in glory. Offering you your own, from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray <laughs> to you, pray to you, our God. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual and bloody sacrifice. We implore, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lie before us. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ, and that which is in this chalice the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit. That for those who partake of them, they may bring about a spirit of vigilance, remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fullness of the heavenly kingdom, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those who part of the faith. The forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. The earth announce the good news, the good news of great joy. You heaven sing the glory, the glory of God. Let no one initiated hand touch the living ark of God. But let faithful live singing without ceasing the words of the angel to the Theotokos. Cry aloud in great joy Rejoice, O oh, full of grace, the Lord is with you. The mother first, so let remember our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, 
Our most reverend metropolitan William, our God loving Bishop Kerr, preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant every one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise you most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly, mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us to return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for unity of the faith, for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence without condemnation, dear call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Now your heads to the Lord. To you. For the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and light, creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. One is holy, <laughs> one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. <clears throat> Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins, and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. 
approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. <coughs> The Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. The Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Alleluia. has come into heaven's realm, you were taken by the Lord. You were glorified with angelic hosts, golden vessel of the Lord. With our hearts devotion true, Hymns and prayers we offer you. <coughs> Temple for his birth, fairest flower of earth, worthy of all praises due. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light, we have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided trinity, or the trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory. For you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, <laughs> Pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your <laughs> holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us go forth now, now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating us and mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> you are sanctification. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O oh Lord our God and ruler of all, you were pleased that your only son took flesh from a virgin and became a human being for our salvation. You sent your archangel Gabriel to the Holy Virgin Mary to announce the good news of this conception without seed. Before all ages, you predetermined that she would be the vessel of so awesome a mystery foreknown to you and to your co-eternal word. Through her prayers and the prayers of all your saints, now announce to us the good news of the forgiveness of sins through your grace. 
and the news of the joy which has appeared today. Speak peace to your people and make known for us the way to travel, that we might be accepted into your heavenly kingdom. Grant this through the mercies of your Christ, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy good and life greeting spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give <coughs> the blessing. May Christ, our true God, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, Mary, whose Annunciation we remember today, and who is the patroness of our church. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints. For Christ is good and loves us all. a crown, earth and heaven bow to you. From your loving heart, grace and favor flowed to all those who honor you. With our heart's devotion true, hymns and prayers we offer you. Temple for his birth, fairest flower on earth, worthy of all praises due. 